guys, this is Tar Heel Will. I'm here to talk about the Duke North Carolina game. We all know that we know the history from last year. We know that everything that's happened with the trash talking for the past year. We know that we beat him in the Final Four and we ended Coach K's, you know, career pretty much, in my opinion. But big game today. We're playing in Cameron again. Uh, first game of two this year, at least two. I uh, feel like that's going to be a very close game. Um, I was I was thinking a low score, and I don't think it will be in the 80s or 70s or 80s. I think it's going to be in the 60s or maybe early 70s or whatever. But I think for the most part, I think it's going to be a close back-and-forth game like any other Duke-North Carolina game. I think that um, all the players are showing up to play today because of the trash talking and the bragging rights that we've had uh, for the past year. So I think that both teams are going to bring it. I think that um, Caleb Love should have a big game. I'm expecting R.J. Davis to have a big game. Uh, Baycock, definitely um, we need him to have a big game. I'm, I'm guessing another a double-double again. Uh, Duke's got some good players, some young players also. I'm not definitely not looking past this game. Uh, this could be a, a good game for us to win, but Duke, is hungry, uh, and they have a good shot of beating us too. It really depends on which team shows up today um, on both sides of the ball. Duke's kind of in the same situation. They've had some struggles this year, and, you know, they've been up and down, and we've been up and down. Both teams are unranked. Uh, we were ranked number one, and we failed quick, which I don't like being number one anyway. I like – I kind of like where we're at anyway. I like being kind of – an afterthought, you got all the other teams up, up in the top ten, beating each other, losing, uh, battling, and we're just kind of in the background, kind of making our way. Yeah, we had a big loss um, last game to Pitt. That was a close game, physical game. Uh, but we got to start putting some wins together. Um, we got to start going on a win streak. We, we ain't got too much longer in the season before the term, ACC tournament. Also, then the March Madness, and we want to be in a – a different, uh, uh, a decent seed going into that, that tournament. We all know that North Carolina kind of pl starts playing late, and really it's time now. I think last year was the Pitt game when we turned everything around. So now we won against Pitt last year, I believe, but this year we lost. So let's take this same catalyst and take off like we did last year. We just need everybody to start playing together. Uh, some games I feel like Caleb Love takes the day off. Um, R.J. Davis has definitely proved that he's the leader of the team besides Armando Baycott. Baycott's still doing his same thing. We need him to play big down low. Uh, Leaky Black, we need him to stay out of foul trouble. Against Pitt, he got in foul trouble and, you know, could have been a different outcome if he was been able to play. So he needs to um, stay out of foul trouble. We need – I would like to see uh, Nickel get in the game, uh, Trimble to get in the game and, and put some good minutes up against Duke uh, to give them some experience <clears throat> um, and some of the younger guys. But we only can do that, you know, if we got a lead or in certain situations. Uh, I think Pete Nance is going to have a good game. This is his first Duke North Carolina game, so I expect him to come in with some energy uh, and ready to play. So my projection on the score, I think it's going to be like 68-65 um, either way. Uh, if I was going to if I'm, I mean, I'm picking, I'm going UNC because I want UNC to win. So I'm going to go UNC by three uh, on the bet I made today. I just took UNC money line. I didn't get crazy with that. Um, also, I took some some player props. I think it was Baycock over 11 rebounds. Also, I took Roach, I think, 13 and a half points or something like that. So, you know, I took some player props on that game, and I expect – most of them to hit, uh, or hopefully all of them. Um, and that's it. That's my projection. I think it's going to be a close defensive battle down low. I think it's going to be called like a typical Duke North Carolina game. It's going to be some calls and maybe some technical fouls. I think, you know, we got Hubert Davis and John Shire. This is their, you know, a new era of coaches coaching against each other. Um, so both of them are ready to kind of hit the, hit the, ground running with their rivalry and I think it's going to be a good game it's, going to, uh, it's always one that 
It makes me uh, bite my nails the whole time, and I, I freak out and kind of have to watch it by myself. But it's that time of the year, and this is my favorite time of the year is college basketball. So this is what it's all about. This is why I watch it, and this is what I love about it. So everyone have a great day. Please like and subscribe my videos. Share my videos if you like it. Please check me out on any of my other social media platforms, including Discord, Instagram, TikTok, um, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, if you go type in Tar Heel Will Sports Blog, you will find me. I'm not hard to find. So please go follow all my social medias, even on YouTube, because I guess you're watching the video here on YouTube. But please like and subscribe. <laughs>